Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so today I'm gonna go over some basic Cricut tips. This is um, how to break up an SVG file, I guess I would call it that way. So here is this image um, in Design Space. It's um, part of images. So if you have Cricut access, you can access it for free. So anyway, you just type in 4th of July, search for that. Um, I would imagine though that if someone did this, they would probably wanna incorporate blue and white and red. And right now you have two layers. And the way you know that is you can go over to the right-hand side panel and you can see that this file, when you click on it, I'd already ungrouped it. But if you click on it, you can see there's two, two images. Um, you have the four and the July in one color, which you can kind of see here, it's, it's more, um, obvious in the picture and then you have the bunch of stars and the th and the of right so if you want to break this up what i would do is let's say you want the four to be a different color and july to be a different color so here's our our um four in the july right so you can move it out here there's two ways to do this you can either um contour and separate the two or you can slice, and I'm gonna show you slicing first. So go to shapes, bring in a square. Doesn't matter what shape it is, but I find that the squares are easier to, to use. So we wanna basically cover one, the square over one of the images that we wanna break up. So I would just unlock this, make sure that you get all of that four in there, and then grab both items and slice. So you can see, you get rid of your, um, your slice results, but here's our four, and now the four can be moved and the July can be moved, which means you can make those separate colors. So for instance, here's my four, I'm gonna make this red. Um, here's my July, I'm gonna make this blue. All right, you can put it back just so that visually you know what you have and um, it might help you choose your colors, whatever it is for now. Okay, but let's say this J, you want that a different color, okay? So what you can do is you can take the July and we wanna, I'm gonna show you contouring instead this time. So we could, you can um, bring in a square and highlight the J or cover the J and then separate the two, just like we did with the four. Or we want to break this into two pieces, the J and then the Ulai. <laughs> then what you can do is what, however many pieces you want to break this up into, you need that many number of copies. So we want to break this up into two. We want two copies of this. So here's the two, right? This first one that's selected, let's go to contour. And let's get rid of, just click hide all, and it will leave you the U, the L, and the Y. On this one, let's go to contour and let's hide all and you just want we can look at this image go ahead and click on this this will change it from 232 percent to 100 it's a little bit easier to see so we want this j we want the inside of the j but we don't want this the second part so just click on it so we're basically selecting and deselecting right so when you get out of it there's your j and now it's totally separated which i love um all right, so let's just start coloring the stuff in so that you can see all the different things that you can do. So here's our J. Let's say we want this to still be blue. Now let's do the same thing with the rest of this image. Now, as you can see, we started adding, we're separating things. So we went from two items to now four items. Now, our top layer is the ULY. So when I'm in this space and I click on it, that's what's highlighted. But you can easily change it by clicking on this four, for instance, and you can move it up here. Now four is our top layer. That's So you can use that over here. Now let's go back to the TH and the of, okay? So if you want just the TH in this case, um, there are a lot of stars, so I don't necessarily want to do contouring unless you want to separate the TH and the and the of. So let's say you want to do that now because they're, let's duplicate this because we want to separate into two things, right? So this first one, let's look at that. Let's go to contour. Let's hide all. That's the easiest thing to do, right? So it hit everything but this TH, but I want the inside of that H. I also want the of. 
So I'm just clicking on everything that I want. And watch when we get out of it, that's all that's left. All the stars are gone, right? Um, so let's put this back. Now let's say the stars, you want it to be a bunch of different colors. So let's get rid of the TH and the U uh first. So let's go over here. Let's select this to get rid of it. Um, let's see, do I click on everything? Sometimes it's really hard to isolate the piece that you want there. I think I still have this little piece in here. Though. There, all right. There, now we have just the stars, okay? Um, now here's where it's get, it gets a little complicated. If you wanted to do these stars, if you wanted red, white, blue, red, white, blue, for instance, um, that would be a little bit more difficult. I would, I would probably slice out each one of these. So let's bring in our shapes, square. Okay, so I would probably do something like this. So one, one star at a time, I would um, slice out. So let's do this. Let's get just this star in there. And you see it's covering the four, but that's totally fine. I, with my cursor, I'm only gonna grab the stars. Oops. The star is one image and my square is the other image. And see where I'm grabbing? It's really only touching those two items. It doesn't matter that this star is covering this J. I can still slice because my cursor only selected two items. So here are my two items. And now look, this star is by itself. And you can change that to red, for instance. And you can do that for each one of these. Now it'd be a lot easier if you wanted like these, th however many stars to be red, the middle stars to be uh, white, and then these stars to be blue, for instance, then I would slice out the whole section. So, and what I mean by that is this. Let's just make this back to a square, unlock it, and make it really big, and let's cover just this section, right? So we're gonna grab this slice and look at all these stars. I can move over here. I think it was like this and I can make that red. Then I'm gonna take, and you can get rid of this. Anything that you don't need, you can delete. All right, and then let's do this side. And you wanna make sure you just get the stars that you want covered from the stars that you don't want in this image. So grab the two things, slice. And so now we have this set, which we said we wanted to be white, let's say. And then you have this set over here, get rid of that, change this to blue. And now you have your blue. Now, if you were doing this as an HTV file, so you want all your blues to be together, this is how I would do it. I would grab these two and I would attach. Then I would grab my whites and attach. Grab my reds and attach because, let's get rid of this. Let's show you what the Make It screen would look like. So see my white kept the right spacing. Here's my J, here's my black. The red has the stars and the, and the red four where it's supposed to be. And here's this, so let's cancel. I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you didn't attach, okay? And this is a lot of questions that I see. Um, let's detach that, detach this, and detach this. Now let's go to make it so you can see what it would look like. My J is not in the right place, right? It should have been over here. Let's look at my thing. My four is over here. So if you want everything to be where it should be, you need to attach it, okay? Um, let's see. Then the last thing, I would say that that's the big thing. Um, 
If you were to have created this yourself and you had different text, so let's say you typed in July, and I'm going to pick a cursive font that I know of. Um, maybe. I'm trying to think of a font that I know. All right, I'm going to pick one. Okay, so here's July, right? I make it bigger. The letters aren't connected, so you need to ungroup, and I would um, manually connect them like this. And I'm going to change this to a different color so that you can see it better. I want you to see how the L and the Y, I'm going to make this even bigger so you can see. Um, the L doesn't flow into the Y, right? It's just right next to each other. But I'm going to show you what it would really look like. I'm going to move this L up. Do you see that L would cut into the Y? You would see all of that. So what you want to make sure is when you have cursive letters and you want them to flow as if it's one thing, you got to grab all those letters and you have to weld. And see the difference now? The U flows into the L, the L flows into the Y, and there's no, um, no clear distinction where one starts and one ends, okay? And here's the, the J. I would move it closer like this, and then you could do the rest. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have a project of your own. All right, have a great 4th of July. See you later.